Next swing over Lake Goreville, 3 TV. Okay, thanks. Sorry, I had the wrong button up to talk to you a minute ago. I'm still pretty much just over the dam here. Well, we're seeing a lot more water as the day continues on here, Mark. There's a lot more water. Remember when we got here, we just kind of saw a few little trickles, maybe a little bit of white water coming down there, but we're seeing much more of a cascade now. Jorge, if you'll pull out, show that catch basin that we were talking about during the break. So just to the south right there. Now that basin is actually starting to fill up and that's the road to the left that goes over to the public parking. We don't have to follow that. But once that fills up, it'll pour over the road. Now they've done a great job of clearing all this out here. We're gonna go ahead and follow this, keep down there. Now you see a small shadow at the bottom of your screen. That's a ravine right there and they've made a channel right through there, goes underneath those power lines there, which they've been really stringing that. And 3TV, Roger, I, I still got you in sight. We're right at 3100. There's some other airplanes that are operating here, Mark, so forgive me if I have to talk to them for safety reasons every now and then. But following that ravine down there, all the way to the river, that's pretty much where the channel is going to go and empty into the river right there. TV Roger, I'm right over the river at the main spilling. It definitely is doing that as as we see more water pouring into the into the catch basin 3TV Roger and boy it just looks like more more, more water just keeps pouring over that and you know as, as far as increased volume so I'm figuring in about probably about another half an hour it's it's going to fill up enough to just start eking over that that main road right there now you're talking about scale Jorge can you pan to the right a little bit now right there there's an SUV right there so when we pull out from that, keep that SUV right there in sight. That'll give you a kind of a, an idea of how large this area is.
three, go ahead. Okay, just pretty much figure I'm straight over the dam, 3,300. I'm just making really slow turns, so I'm, I'm within a quarter mile radius. Copy clear for now. Go ahead. Roger, I, I will actually just, I will make as tight a turns right around the dam as, as possible, give you some room to maneuver. Roger that. Believe it or not, so am I. Affirmative. Oh no, he retired a long time ago. This is Dave Allen. Are you doing that for anybody or, or just having some fun? Sweet. Jorge, you're stepping on the mic. You're stepping on the microphone. Fire Lake Oroville TFR 3TV. Orville TFR Helicopter 3TV 2477.
three TV Roger at thirty one hundred. Yeah, I heard you mention that, so I thought I'd give us a little bit of separation for fun. Yeah, it's supposed to top out at three thousand. Stand by. Yep, safety first, no worries. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was talking to Cal Fire yesterday and they decided that's why they wanted to put the TFR up. It took them a, lo a while to get it in place, I'm surprised. Go ahead. Thank you. Copy. And the newsroom just reminding me I'm on Facebook Live. I'm kind of ignoring you guys. Hi, Dave Allen and Livecopter3 with Jorge this morning shooting all that now every now and then you hear me kind of stutter talk there's a few aircraft out here today so we're all coordinating with each other which is what you've kind of been hearing that pilot chatter going on for a little bit here but taking a look at this historic event where the water is going over the emergency spillway at Lake Oroville I'm at about 3,100 feet right over this so Mark says about 55,000 CFS going out of the normal spillway, which could normally handle this had it not had its little breach down there a little while ago. So what that draws us into is as the lake rises, we get the emergency spillway that as the lake crests, it just kind of pours over there like overfilling your bathtub. And the sun's right in my eyes, so I can't exactly see what Jorge is shooting right now. It looks like the emergency spillway there, but we've seen a steady increase of water coming over that spillway since we got here yeah, right about half an hour ago. Three TV right over the uh, conventional spillway. What altimeter are you using? I've got 3015 from Beale. Three zero two zero? Okay, I'll pop up to that.
Copy two minutes. I love that shot, Jorge. Let's start there. That's that shot that, that you were showing me. Remember that? The guy's looking over at it. Yeah, let's stay on that. I'm going to get you a little closer to that. I'll try to get it. I'll try to get it. Keep it. 3 TV, Roger. Say again, I was on the radio. Probably telling me to stand by. I'm standing by. Trying to keep it slow for you, dude. Telly ho, and there's another airplane coming in below you, a high wing. Looks like he's about 500 below you at my altitude. I'm not talking to him. High wing aircraft over Lake Oroville, three TV. Do you copy one, two, two point eight? High wing aircraft over Oroville Lake. Yeah, I think he's departing to the north. Good morning, Cal Fire 3 TV, and at 3020, and I'm at uh, 3100. I believe it is. Yeah, he took off to the north, another low wing came in. Cal Fire at Orville TFR 3 TV 2477. Yeah, you know what? There's there's just there's just too many people flying in this area not talking. I'm gonna depart the area for safety. Cal Fire Aircraft, 3 TV, 2477. Cal Fire, are you on 228 or 2477?
Yeah, sorry guys, we're just getting a lot of airplanes, looky-loo airplanes flying through the area, not talking to anybody. So it's just not safe to operate here anymore. So I'm leaving. Newsroom unit two. Yeah, 3TV, 3300 departing to the south towards Beale. You too. Hey, there's just too many looky-loo airplanes trying to fly around here and they're not talking to anybody. It's just not safe to operate here anymore. Yeah, we're about, we're about out of fuel 